Okay, so we'll look on some content. We also have an additional tab or kind of button which showing with a product. And this is all products that, for example, downloaded more, think as a library product with a, all components include, for example, it's will also showing uh, texture, materials and everything. So it's more like a grouped together. Okay, in many cases when we're going to work at just the files and sometimes we'll be accessing the products. So right here we have it a smart content and you notice how the link, how we can find the next, um, the side tab and by the way you can change them to display on the top if you prefer. But on the side tab we have it shaping. And working with uh, Genesis figures, this is one of the most fun one. You can have a lot of fun modeling and resizing here. So currently you can see we don't have it any, we needed selected some models. So we apply the shaping, the shaping to this. And if you're familiar with the work before in the poser, you do have a changes, some shapings and sizing, but Genesis figures is held, hold this very well and they look naturally and you just need to compare to see how bad it is actually working with shaping. So for example, we have it right here one figuring. Let's go click, we'll select the head. Okay. And let me go ahead and select right there. We can go inside the if we don't have any presets, and currently I don't see any presets right here. We can go inside the editor and modify it. So you can see right here we'll select the head. Okay, real world. And we can also modify properties that are available. If you have any additional, some application have a morphing effect, you will have more than just one. An example right here, we'll go on the chest and you can see right here we have some modifications. Hands have more properties. But again, right here we have a head. And let's say if we want it, we can increase the create a bubble head. Okay, like a very big one. So then you notice, look on the textures and how it's applied primarily Right here, it's what's nice about Janice figures. You don't see this break in lines that sometimes may happen. It's look very natural, very smooth as textures as well, expanding quite a bit. So you can have a lot of fun with the playing run and creating. So again, with this is editor and how it's shaping applied. So right here, we can even create bigger, you know, and create even a bigger size. You know, start having kind of nice oversize. It's almost look like some of those bubble head toys. Um, you can modify by sliding placed on plus, or you can always just go inside and manually type in value. Okay, I'm gonna have it like this, a little bit giant creating from out of him. Okay, also when you work with properties, you notice right on the top we have it three icons and that do help us as we work along. First is a locking. So if you lock, the property is gonna be changed. Sometimes it's nice if you don't want to avoid accidentally and when you have too many properties, you want some property locked and don't change accidentally. You can add it to the favorites. It's meaning you can come back after two favorites you saved before because sometimes we experimenting. For example, he says, oh, this is good size. So let's go add to the favorites and you modify it and it does not look right. So you can go back and reset to your favorites. As well, we have a customization. We have all parameter settings. And this is provide you quite a bit more information and a little bit more accessible to the scales and option. This is more advanced. We'll just let you know it's here if you need to go to more details. You also can add your favorites, what did before, or remove the favorites, directly lock and lock, or hide or unhide specific properties if you need it. Okay, if you want to access all properties, we'll just need to go to the all, and right here you can see we have all of the properties that are accessible for our um, to modify and adjust so we can kind of work around and see which one has worked better. Okay, one other thing is need to know, so when we work, we're not necessarily just tied up to this editor to our shaping that we have it currently. You can always go to um, options and you can go edit, we can go edit figuring and we can access from there as well. And you notice right now, 
this is properties is enabled so we can modify it and they related to the figure we're currently selecting so this is more advanced menu you can access from the drop down but again we'll use them more in when we start exploring kind of more and go in the depth of creating figurines but right now just let you know so as a figure enable and we'll look before so that right here we have this appropriate okay so as you're working with different properties you continue exploring and just you know just play around just set all these different properties see how they affect and uh, anytime if you do something properly that you don't like it or it does not look you can always delete model reload it and do this over again so i'll say think about this as more as playground and exploration kind of play as long you don't try to override your model which you cannot do in this case you'll be fine so and right here also let's look on some of the properties we have it and you can change all the shapings also if we have it more than one model on this case we can access this properly to specifically to each model separately so you don't need to worry about confusing so next we have it after shaping it's a surf um, color and this is things in some cases maybe say shaders or other ones and uh, in this case we can access directly if any available for this model okay and we can also access and preloading them as well directly into the model for example let's go closer to like eyes okay okay we'll go move a little bit closer and we can just preload it and you can see we change coloring of the eyes as a texture so you can modify this modify these materials in different ways but for now start just work with the presets so what we have we can preload right here okay we can go to michael preload some bombs and eyebrow then you can see it's can some modify from materials so let's go so let's go ahead and overview we have it our smart content where we can access and preload specific objects and base it on what objects selected we can access to all these properties again like this one has changed you can relink if you remember by right click and go browse to product overview or other ones or whatever it will work with this we can also now have it fun going with the model and work on some shapes sometimes like right here you can see my kids look actually okay and I do like how it's handled so we can change and modify some properties and shapes on the object okay we also have additional tab the surfaces the various materials so the figures the shapes and the surfaces as well we can some preloaded poses remember we also have a pause and animated workflow tab we will look later but right here you can preload it and you can some add modifications okay the other additional option will look on all presets just to let you know right here we have an editor and shader bake so let's go ahead and editor we can select a specifically element for example let's go actually on a short right here and you'll notice we have a color diffuse color we can change a lot of properties including the opacity color so we can modify it or preload it okay just as example so you can change and modify a lot of settings and again like i said before you can look on them play around but they may be a little bit overwhelmed on the beginning just let know it's here so you can have a lot of customization with this as well we have the shader baker what is meaning it when we export or create models it can create the textures or lighting everything and bake this information or attach to the figurine so when next time you're using it will be all available kind of together as well you can add additional images so just let you know it is a little bit more advanced right here additional options in many cases for the beginning you will just recommend to use that some already libraries that may be created by other people so you can go ahead and kind of install and using them on the model you preloaded.